Hello beautiful Scorpio and welcome to your angelic guidance and this is for May 2020 so grab yourself a tea, get yourself a coffee, get yourself comfy, join me Julie on the sofa, let's see what we've got going on for May. All right, my lovely Scorpios, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Julie Paul. I'm an intuitive psychic, hypnotherapist, Reiki master, healer, and energy worker. So those of you coming back, thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. So if this reading resonates for you, comment below. I claim this reading. It helps you to align with it. All right, before they're telling me to stop, before I go to the cards, I've got an intuitive channeled message for you Scorpio all right my darlings everything at the moment is very deep very intense and particularly at the beginning of May because we've got that full moon in your sign in Scorpio you're going to be doing a deep dive all right so as I say deep dive they are showing me a dolphin how lovely I love dolphins all right dolphins represent play and fun and community because they're in a pod a group of, of dolphins now i'm seeing i'm seeing a group four five six dolphins all jumping up at the same time and all diving down and they're diving down really really deep right and i'm watching them swimming down together in it's like um synchronicity swimming team going down together they're going right down to the bottom they're showing me a sandy bank, uh, you know, a sandy bed at the bottom and, oh how lovely, I'm seeing an oyster opening up and there is a beautiful pearl, um, there's a beautiful pearl and it's huge, it's huge and all the six dolphins are all nose down looking at it and, wait a minute, alright, what are they doing with this pearl? interesting okay so now they're using their fins to cover the pearl up with the sand and the sand uh, right and i'm seeing light coming up glowing up through the sand of the pearl and they're covering it up and then they're um, swimming around it all right so what is this representing please they're saying scorpio that your treasure your uh, beauty your abundance everything that a pearl represents it's so beautiful it's so pure um and it's worth a lot of money so it's abundance um everything is there but you need to dive deep for it and then you decide whether now is the time to to go get the pearl or whether you're going to leave it there for later and the way these dolphins are covering it over is strongly suggesting you leave it there for later so at the moment through may you're diving down and you're aware of it. You're aware of your beauty, your prosperity, your abundance, your gifts, but it isn't time to bring that up to the surface just yet. It's about checking it out and then waiting for the right time. So when is the right time? You will know it's gonna be different for different people, but it's not May. So it's to recognize that it is there and they ask you to do your own deep dive and that's going deep within you to find your own pearl to find your own treasure um, and recognizing it can you tell me a bit more please so the pearl represents your wisdom it represents your beauty your light your hope your inspiration it's recognizing it all Okay, you're bringing the energy of that back up, but you're leaving the treasure there for later. It's, this is um, waiting for the exact right time, okay, to harvest your pearl. This is about awakening as well. So many of you are awakening to your own spirituality, your own I am presence, your own heart center and love and magnificence but you're just allowing the awareness to grow inside you before you go get the treasure right 
that is quite cryptic that message can you make it any more clear please okay so what my spiritual team here the angels higher beings of light what they're saying is the pearl represents something that you have chosen to move towards no they're correct to me it's there within you growing and it's there within you getting ready for the time so that treasure could be the perfect job a new love um retirement um what knowledge as well you're reaching for knowledge but you haven't found a pearl yet um, it's going to mean different things for different people sweetheart so i want you to sit with that image and um probably best to to have, watch the video through and then watch it again this channel bit and pause it and just ask yourself what does this mean for me what where is my treasure what is my treasure what is important to me because the time is coming for you to really pull that pearl up and this collective right they're taking me to the six dolphins what does that mean please what do they represent and it represents the support that is around you now for some of you that's tangible support as in family friends but for others it's spiritual support around you and internal spiritual support so your higher self the combination of all of your knowledge within you getting ready working with you supporting you quite an intense message but you know this is the Scorpio full moon 7th 8th of May and so you know this is an intense time of bringing awareness up about that knowledge about that dream that goal tell me some more then please let's go to the cards tell me some more for scorpio perhaps the cards will make it a little bit clearer for you we've got the knight of wands we've got the five of coins the palace of cups stop for a moment okay so your first card out this beautiful knight the knight of swords he is there with that sword of truth and what he's doing is he's using that sword to cut through illusion and fog and negativity and we know there's so much negativity around at the moment all right so fears within you it's being bombarded at you from the news the media everywhere i would suggest that you use that sword to just cut through okay cut through we're not hearing all of what is actually going on they're giving us what they want us to know so this is about you cutting through i'm not going to go into that negativity i'm not buying into it it's not what i'm about it's not i'm not interested in it and this swords this air energy getting in your head looking at your thoughts and beliefs using that sword to cut out the fears the negativities and this is what a lot of that is about this five of coins this is poverty consciousness panic about money being left out it being excluded feeling unsupported all of those things okay so we're going to use that night to cut through my loves all right cut through all of that and saying Do you know what the more i focus on the lack the more I'm going to get more lack and we don't want that. We want to draw that abundance and the the flow of universal well-being towards you, okay? There are multiple streams of income available to you, not just one. So we're going to focus on abundance and it moving towards you. Now we've got the Palace of Cups and at the moment this is where we're at. This is palaces represent environment, a building, a home or a place of work and at the moment for most of you this is home and the palace of cups is allowing those emotions to flow in a very harmonious peaceful tranquil way so it's diving deep and you know this palace of cups is under the water <clears throat> excuse me let me just grab some tea and that image that we had there at the beginning, Scorpio, was those dolphins diving deep. So you're going into those deep emotions and into a sense of peace and tranquility and harmony. The other thing they're showing me is that when we go down, down into those depths, right, this is, because it's under the water, it's quiet. 
it's there's so much noise going on at the moment all right and these three together especially with that um that knight of swords all right there's so much noise so we want to get out of the noise and we want to get into a stillness deep within going deep within into that stillness because that is where you find your harmony that is where you find the sense of release and relief from all of the chaos and noise above you go deep within that is where you find your peace all right tell me more for scorpio for may please tell me more for scorpio for may i'm a scorpio rising so i completely guess <laughs> what's going on here all right we've got the page of wands coming out which is a new beginning a fresh start something new kicking off something new beginning i'm feeling this is more towards the middle end of may we've got the two of swords which is indecision the hanging man i want one more and the king of wands good okay so this is now as we're moving so i'm a bit croaky this morning <coughs> Wait a minute. Thank you so much. All right. So where did we start? The page. The page of swords. Page of wands. I beg your pardon. Wands is passion, enthusiasm, work, career. This is a new beginning. Something just beginning to percolate. Something just beginning to come up to the surface and starting. Now... I don't believe this is the early part of May. I think we're looking at middle of May onwards. This is um, a, a start here of, I feel, going back to work, going back into uh, work with a new enthusiasm. Many of you didn't like your jobs. Many of you didn't want to be there. But after what we've been through the last couple of months, some of you are really grateful and enthusiastic to go back to work, to see your work colleagues, to get back into it. There's an enthusiasm here and motivation. Um, but for others of you, this is a new beginning, a new direction. Some of you are going to be beginning to go in a new direction, but it's not yet. Right now, we've got that two of swords which is what new direction i don't know this is a card of the two of swords is i can't make my mind up i'm not sure this way that way which way should i go and very often there's not quite enough information and that's why we can't make a decision we haven't got all the facts we haven't got all the options we haven't got all the opportunities yet but this is opportunity and this is i need to make a decision now, again, I'm feeling that you don't need to make a decision in May. There's a lot going on with Mars in May, a lot of sense of action. But because of all the, the four planets retrograde in May, it's kind of allow the action to happen in your head. I, I'm working towards making a decision, but I'm not putting it into practice until we go into June and July. All right. So it's kind of a preparation time. Make your plans in May, but hold back, hold back because we've got the hanging man. So the hanging man is timing and waiting, waiting patiently, surrender, allowing and looking at things <coughs> excuse me looking at things from a different perspective seeing things in a different way so when we're looking at that two of cups uh two of, I keep saying two of cups okay so there's a lot of sense of love and things coming together all right because they're they giving me that twice now it's going to come together but in may we're not quite there to make a decision we feel a sense of newness coming in but it's on not quite on pause how can i explain this strategy planning thinking things through making decisions but not being able to act quite yet all right so this could be as simple as i've decided i don't want to go back to that job i'm going to find something else i've got a rough idea what that might be but at the moment there's no jobs being advertised because everything is obviously so slow so i'm going to wait give it another month six weeks and there will start to be jobs coming back onto the job market and then i'll be like 
that's the one for me, that's the one I want, okay? So it's a planning time. What do you want to do? Some of you are going back to the job you had with a whole new enthusiasm that you never had before for it. Um, others of you are saying, you know, okay, that job has gone, I can't go back to it, what can I do instead? And this is going to move you into a place with that King of Wands. This is power. This is your empowerment. I decide. I know what I want. I can use the law of attraction to draw to me like a magnet the right job for me at the right time. Now, not all of this is about jobs, all right, because I know lots of you don't work. and Many of my watchers are retired or um, stay-at-home parents. So if this isn't about work for you, this is about enthusiasm for life, new hobbies, new interests, new contacts, um, maybe reaching out and joining, yeah, some of you reaching out and joining a community group. One of the things they're just saying to me that many of us Scorpios have realised is that we are perhaps not in quite the right place for really good connections. So, okay, this is May for you, a sense of exploration. What community groups are around me? What social groups are around me that I may want to join and get involved with? Perhaps this is about being um, of service to others, volunteering, joining some kind of um, you know, clean the beach group or environmental group or um, supporting others group. You're looking into that. And again, nothing's quite happening in May, but you're looking into it. And what you're doing is you're coming into a place with that King of Wands, which is all about empowerment. I know who I am. I know what I want and I'm going to get it. All right. He is a king. He is in charge. Now, this isn't necessarily meaning you're in charge in a job, that you're a manager or a boss, um, but it absolutely can be. It can also be entrepreneur. You're starting your own business. You're starting your own creative project. You're starting a writing project, whatever it is for you that you are throwing yourself into it wholeheartedly with absolute assurity, I'm gonna make this happen. So what these are showing you then, wrapping it up, we'll have a look at some um, information from the angels, is that this is a time of making decisions of what it is that you want. And there's no rush, there's no rush, Scorpio. You don't have to make a decision on the 1st of May allow ideas to, to come up, allow ideas to percolate. Because look at this, you've got the Page of Wands and the King of Wands. So we are very much in power, passion, enthusiasm, motivation. As I said, for some of you, a new job, a new career, a new business. For others of you, a new project that's going to bring some passion into your life, enthusiasm into your life. Could be love, absolutely doesn't have to be. This can be you loving something that you've joined and you're loving the new connections you're making through that joining. All right, I think I want a little bit more. Let's go to the energy cards. I want a little bit more for you, Scorpio. Tell me a little bit more for my Scorpios. Okay, so she's saying, many of you have realized that some of your friendships are not that deep. Um, and not that serving you, and you're going to let some of those go. Okay, we've got man holding a heart, um, and you're opening up to new friendships. You're realizing that perhaps some of those friendships are a little shallow for you, um, that these people have no depth, have no, they're not your people, they're not your tribe. You want to find a new tribe? I want that one. Okay, strategy, which is what we were saying there. And we've got the first chakra. Okay, all right. So these three coming out. A man holding a heart. Now, that absolutely can represent love coming towards you. But this is also about connecting in with your heart yourself. So being open, those of you who are single, being open to love coming in. And those of you coupled up, uh, being open to your love going to a new depth, a new level, a new, a new, mm, it's more than deepness. It's going deeper right into your core, 
right? It's linking in with that Archangel Michael card. The first chakra is our sense of security, stability. This is your root chakra, your base chakra, that connects you to the earth, that makes you feel grounded and safe, secure, enough, enough, all right? And so Archangel Michael is with you there, and they're just showing me this, um, those of you coupled, um, this love that you have between you going right down into that base chakra. It's like, I've never felt more safe and secure than I do right now with my partner. And those of you single, be open for love. Now the strategy card, this is what we were saying about May. May isn't a time to do the action. Mars is all over the place, all right? Mars is the action planet and he wants you. Go, 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 go. But all of those retrograde planets are going, well, I don't know. Let's just have a think about this, okay? So we can use this time in May to strategize. What do I want for myself by the end of this year? What do I want in five years? Because as we set those goals, you start to move on a different path and a different direction towards them. And that different direction, Scorpio, is really coming from a sense of passion and heart and enthusiasm and power because we've been through this time where we felt very disempowered and what it's doing is that's clearing and realizing that actually the power is within me and the life I had it, it wasn't really doing it for me and I want more when we're out of this and we're starting to go back to work and things are starting to open up which they will in May towards the middle of May gradual is going to be gradual over several months but we can use this time to strategize about what we want for ourselves for the future all right scorpio let's finish off with an angel card who's with scorpio for me please who is with scorpio that's who's with scorpio okay and we have got archangel hamael with hope how lovely hope hope is so so important it's when we lose hope that life doesn't feel that it's worth living all right as long as we've got hope then we can move towards that that would that goal that dream that aspiration so allow yourself to hope for you for your future and it needs to be something that is impassioning you all right. So many people have been living a life that's half asleep, just going to work, coming home, going to work, coming home. No enthusiasm, no motivation, no passion, no heart. That's what we want to get back to. So let's get in that hope. All right. Hope that I can have a life moving forward that is more enriched than it's ever been. And I'm holding on to that hope. All right, Scorpio, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your support. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up and a share and subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss a thing. And if it so moves you and you'd like to donate, always, always appreciate it. And if you want to work with me, everything, the link is below to take you to my website. I am open for bookings. All right, Scorpio, you take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.